Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 38 in chapter 22. Chapter 22 is about Gauss's law. So we can see we have a non-conducting cylindrical, uh, cylindrical object, right? The inner radius R1, R2. And then we have another shell. It's still non-conducting the shell. This is the radius R2 with R3. So this is as shown in this uh, there, the picture is there. So we can see both of these two objects carry the charge density, rho e. We need to determine the electric field dense at a different location, right? So this is simple. As we learned for the Gauss's law, we can consider, we can draw a cylindrical Gaussian surface. As we know that the electric field dense times the surface of the, the Gaussian surface equal to enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught, right? So we can write the electric field dense as the enclosed charge divided by 2 pi epsilon naught r times L. This is we know. So first part, we need to find the electric field dense is the radius is smaller than R1, so smaller than R1, you can see this is R1, smaller than R1, if you draw a electric uh, Gaussian surface, it should be this one, right? It looks like this one. Okay, now for this one, we can see, can you find the enclosed charge? Yes, this is just to use the charge density times its volumes, agree? Its volume is pi r squared times L. Now we input this uh, enclosed charge in this function. We can see pi pi cancelled, L L cancelled, r r cancelled. So we get a final answer, look like this one. The next one is the r is uh, between r1 and r2. So we draw the Gaussian surface, look like this one. Agree? And then we look at the enclosed charge. So the enclosed charge is just this cylindrical object. The radius is R1, agree? Because this is just the empty space. So the enclosed charge is in radius R1, so we use the density times the volumes, pi R1 squared times L, right? Then input the Q include in this function. We can see pi pi cancelled. L, L cancelled, so we get a function, look like this one. The third one is R is between R2 and R3, so we can draw it, look like this one. Right, draw the Gaussian surface. Now, we look at the enclosed charge. So in close charge, the first part is this cylindrical object with the radius R1. Agree? So this is the density times the volumes for the, R, for the inner object, pi R1 squared times L. And then we look at the, this part. There is another part about the enclosed charge, this region, right? From the radius R2 to the R. So this region. For this region, we can get the radiums. We can get the volumes as the charge density times the volumes. So volumes uses the outer radius R, so minus inner radius R2. So we get it there. Agree? So this region is surrounded. And then finally, we can get the enclosed charge look like this one. Mm -hmm. Input the enclosed charge inside, we can get the answer, look at this one, pi, pi, cancelled, L, L, cancelled, so we get the answer, look like this one. The last part, the full part, part four, part D, this is the radius, is larger than R3, so we draw the Gaussian surface. Look like this one, this is larger than R3. Now we look at the enclosed charge, it should include two parts. First part is this cylindrical object and then this is shells, right? So the cylindrical object density times volumes. 
This shield steals the density times the shields, and then we input enclosed charge inside. We can get pi pi cancelled, L L cancelled. So we get answer look like this one. The next part, part E, tell us uh, the quantities about the charge density R1, R2, R3, and then we need to plot this picture. For E, changes with R. So we just write down the function for E at different regions, at different locations, and then input this quantity inside. We can get draw the picture look like this one. You can draw it in Excel. Thank you.